you have to count your blessings. You have to count the positives rather than focus on the negatives, and that's what we've chosen to do. Defying an evacuation order, wildfires a few kilometres from their door, most people would probably freak out. But for Kim Watson, the only way to fight fire is to keep positive. It is stressful. I mean, we try and deal with stress through humour, which I think that if you weren't laughing, you'd be crying. The ex-RCMP officer and her husband live in Fraser Lake in BC's interior. And they're not alone. Along with a head of cattle, bees and horses, the livestock on her farm are well aware of the imminent danger around them. You know, you wouldn't really think that horses can, you know, really show that deep emotion. But each one of them came and they put their, their head on my shoulder and they just sat and they didn't really go anywhere. They didn't, they kind of nibble, you know, as they, that's what horses do and they love you. And, but um, they just wanted that reassurance. Kim and her husband Gary are among the thousands of residents across the province under evacuation order. And some, like the residents of Fraser Lake, are choosing to defy that order. It's a move that authorities are advising against. When these evacuation orders are put in place, it's to protect your own safety. And by choosing to stay behind, you're putting not only yourself, but your family, and also our first responders at risk. But that won't stop Kyla. The couple say they have an evacuation plan and will keep fighting until they and their animals are forced into the water. The plan was is that we would force the uh, animals down into our lower pasture, which is borders the water, and I would uh, get the horses loaded up, and away we go. And, you know, absolute worst-case scenario, we'd push them into the water. And as for their own safety, when will they decide to leave? <laughs> when the flames are licking, licking at the property. <laughs> In Vancouver, Tom Walsh, City News.